So in this video, I'm going to show you the best players at every position under 5 million coins. So make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. Obviously, the prices might be a little bit different for you. I'm just going to use my region's prices, which is Eastern Europe, if you're wondering. I'm in Eastern Europe region. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. This is just my opinions as well. As we start off with the goalkeeper, then um, goal, we've got 96 overall. Castillas, of course, who is the highest rated player that you can get under 5 mil, highest rated goalkeeper. But he's six foot tall. I don't think he's the best one. Uh, not even close, in my opinion. But there is 94 overall Martinez. This Martinez card is pretty decent. Handling skill boost. Six foot five tall. He plays quite well in game. But I think the best one still is 94 overall. Peter Check right there. He's got reflexes, skill boost, good stats, of course. And he's six foot five. And in game, he is the best, in my opinion, in goal. Um, but Martinez is quite good as well. Uh, these two are definitely the best anyways. So let's go ahead and get into the right back spot now. A right back, we've got 94 overall Frimpong, we've got 94 overall Quadrado, Carlos Alberto, new Diogo Dalot card, uh, the team of the year, Hakimi even. I think the best one is 94 overall Frimpong because of his pace. I always said that right backs and left backs need a lot of pace and he has got that. He's got under 10 pace. Defensively and physically he's not terrible either. On the ball he's great. His agility and balance is great. He's 5'7 but he's got high medium work rates, flair and speed dribbler traits. But obviously this uh, team of the year, Hakimi is still very, very good as well in Quadrado. I think Hakimi is at number two and then Quadrado, but still think Frimpong is the best one. Anyways, as we move on to the last back spot, once again, we can choose a couple of players there as well. There's his ultimate team of the year, Joao Cancelo, who scored a very, very good card at left back. Uh, there is the team of the season version of Joao Cancelo, actually called, of course, new Marosic card as well, who is pretty decent, but the best one is Davis because of that pace once again. And defensively and physically, he's very, very good as well. Four star we could four star skill moves, uh, one thirteen acceleration. Um, he's got decent defending, as I said. He's got ninety strength as well, good agility and balance. He's six foot tall, high low work rate is a little bit annoying, of course. Uh, defensively, he might struggle a little bit, but because of his pace, he's still gonna be good defensively as well, and he's gonna track back. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the center back position now. At center back, we've got. We've got this 95 overall Tomori, he's got a pretty decent card, 4 star record, good stats, he's 6 foot 1 as well. There is 95 overall Hinti Rigger, who in my opinion is pretty decent as well. Defense, his defending and physical is very, very nice, 6 foot tall, a little bit a little bit short though. There is 94 overall Ferdinand, who's got a very, very good card as well. He's 6 foot 2 as well, good card. Um, there is that 94 overall Romero, who is even under 2 million coins of course. Great card, and I think he is close second, but I would give Araujo the number one place. 95 pace, 105 defending, 101 physical, tactic skill boost. Um, he's, he's 6 foot 4 as well. Medium, medium work rate isn't perfect, but yeah, great card for Araujo. Uh, but yeah, all of these Araujo, Romero, and Ferdinand, all, all three of them are very, very good. This Demiral event is not bad. This Demiral event is not bad, but yeah, I think Araujo is the best one you can get. Let's go ahead and move on to the CDM position then. CDM, uh, we've got uh, 94 overall Gumayres, who as a defensive midfielder, not too great. Makaleli, Brozovic, there are, some, there are some options you can make. There is Ndidi as well, who is quite slow. The best one, though, is 95 overall Leimer, even though 94 Drummond is good as well. 95 overall Leimer, definitely the best one you can get under 5 mil. 99 pace. It's, you can see like you can see the stats. He's very well rounded as CDM. Long passing skill boost. He's got five. He's he's got medium medium high work rate, which is good. And he's five eleven with thousand to tackle trait. Great card, as I said. Too many. is a he's got a good card as well. But I think Limer is a bit better option. Limer or Lamer, however you want to pronounce his name. As a centre mid, then um, there there are not many great choices. There is that ninety four overall. Ultimate team of the year, Jorginho, of course, Chalhanoglu, Mayer, Veron. There is that new Gavi card as well, 95 overall Gavi card. But I think the best one still has got to be 94 overall team of the season, Pedri Gonzalez. Four star recruit, four star skill, most 99 pace, 85 shooting, 107 passing, 105 agility. Defensively and physically a little bit weak, of course, but he's, he's very, very nice on the ball. He's got high, high work rates. He's 5 foot 9. Solid player and flair traits as well with vision skill boost. In my opinion, the best center mid you can get under 5 mil. It comes spot then. We've got a couple of players there. We've got 94 overall Barak, who is quite slow, so he's definitely not the best. Now we've got 94 overall Madison, who is decent, very, very decent card for Madison. Five star record is great as well. Kaka, 
Um, there is Kaka as well, who scored a good card. Balak, Weirds, but the best one, in my opinion, right now is 95 overall, Litman and his score. It doesn't have four star or five star skill moves, only three star skill moves. So if you want four or five star skill moves, then you can choose Kaka, for example, with five star skill moves or Madison with four star skill moves. But with the stats, I don't think skill moves are as important, for example, as weak foot is called four star weak foot, 95 pace, 107 shooting, which is great, 100 agility, 98 passing. Um, he's got 109 finishing, 108 long shot, 107 shot power, 106 positioning. That's insane for a cam. Uh, for 95 overall cam dribbling and agility is decent as well he's 5 foot 11 he's got high medium more create and financial trade with short passing skill was but as i said kaka is at second place in my opinion um it's just lit money shooting that puts him at number one i think um, he's got a lot better shooting than anyone in this list anyone any other cam um anyways now moving on to the uh, right mid spot a uh, right mid um there is 95 overall Luis Figo who is 100% gonna be under 5 million coins when this event ends because he's the, uh, he's the free to play card for the star pass so he's gonna be the best one for that but right now he's not under 5 million so we cannot count him but when he is you can definitely go for him there is 96 overall under who scored a very good card and in my opinion the best he's the best one you can get under 5 million coins right now because of that 4 star weak foot I always say it Weak foot is, in my opinion, very, very important. So, four-star weak foot, good stats as well. Uh, there is also 95 overall Gerson Martins, who is incredibly fast, 115 pace. So, if you want poor pace for your right mate, then you can definitely go for Gerson Martins. But overall, I think Under has got a little bit of a better card. But, obviously, as I said, Gerson Martins is faster. Even Elanga is quite fast. But, uh, yeah, Under, then Ger Gerson Martins for me. Let's go ahead and move on to the lat mate. A lot mid, there is 96 overall Simon, who is 50 million coins, of course, but he's going to be the last player in the day, in catch of the day. So he's definitely going to be under 5 million coins very, very soon. So he's definitely going to be the best one. 114 pace, great card. But right now he's not under 5 mil. Uh, but the best one under 5 mil, I'll probably go for Tokoe Kambi or Shobosly. Tokoe Kambi is, I think, a little bit of a better card. 4 star record, 3 star skill moves, which is a little bit annoying, as I said. Bam, 104 pace, 102 shooting, 104 agility, 99 passing, great stats. He's 6 foot 1 as well, high low work rates with speed dribbler trade. And um, Strobo's Light has got a good card as well. 4 star record, 4 star skill moves, a little bit worse stats, but still, very, very good card. And he's 6 foot 1 as well with medium low work rates, and he's got a lot more trades. So maybe you want to choose Strobo's Light over Tokoe Kambi. I would personally choose. Tokoy can be bad, Shobosla is a good option as well. There is Carrasco as well. Carrasco is not a bad option either, but I think those two are definitely better. And Simon is even better than all those uh, when he's gonna be under 5 mil, which definitely is gonna be. Anyways, now moving on to the uh, right wing spot. A uh, right wing, we've got 94 overall. Rodrigo, who's got quite a good card. 5 star record, 4 star skill moves is very, very good as well. Uh, there is 94 overall Di Maria. It's got a decent card, but not as good as the other ones, I think. Beckham is, is, does not have a good card. Bellarabi does not really have a good card. Restart record is not good enough. There is also this Bailey card, which is very, very good. He's got 107 pace, 96 shooting. He's, four, he's got 4 star record, 4 star skill moves. Good stats for Bailey, but I would probably go for Sar as the best right winger right now. I know he's got restart record, and I always say that record is very, very important, but he's got two, too good of a card, right? Uh, just try to avoid his left foot and he's definitely the best one. He's very, very fast. His shooting is good. Agility and balance is all right. But if you want that five star record, Rodrigo is definitely your guy. Now, moving on to the left wing spot. A left wing, we've got uh, Neymar who is not under five mil. There is Braithwaite who scored a decent card. Um, there is also 93 overall. Where is he? There is 93 overall Pedro Neto who scored a quite decent card as well. But right now, the best one. In my opinion, he's got to be 95 overall Zakagni. Uh, four star record, four star skill moves, good pace, shooting, passing, and agility. But once again, Chossard is gonna be under 5 million coins. So when he's gonna be under 5 mil, he's gonna be the best lot winker you can get under 5 mil. So definitely would go for Chossard when he drops down in price. But right now, Zakagni is probably the best one you can get. And now we've got the striker lot. A striker. We've got that new 96 overall Roberto Firmino who scored a very, very good card. 4 star record, 5 star skill moves, very good stats. But his finishing is a little bit low for a striker. 
for my liking. Definitely a great card, but I think there is a better card you can, you can get. There is 96 overall Puki, who is not good at all. There is Antonio as well, who's got a pretty decent card, but Ristar Recruit as a striker is quite annoying. But the best one still, till this day, in my opinion, is 94 overall Mbappe. 105 pace, 102 shooting, 101 agility, 4 star skill moves, 5 star recruit, 107 finishing, good pace, good agility and bounce. He's 6 foot tall, he's got high low work rates, flare speed, dribbler and outside which are trades with target mass skill boost. Bam! Roberto Firmino is a very very good option as well. Anyways, this is gonna be the end for today. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and peace.